Hi, this is Nava Barkakari. I want to talk to you today about 3D printing or three-dimensional printing. Um, suppose you are interested in creating a three-dimensional object that you need for some project. And how would you have created it in the past? You would have taken a solid block of material like this. And as I have done using the pad of material that I took to create this, you would have basically cut away the parts that you don't need, remove the parts that you don't need. And then you would have come up with the shape that you want. Now that seems to be called, um, yeah, right now people refer to it as subtractive manufacturing because you're removing material. But if you think about it, there's another way you could have created this, right? You could have taken a layer at a time you know, and simply put one layer at a time on top of the other in the shape that you want. And it can change. After a while, you could have the notch comes up, you know, it can come up there. And as you put them down, eventually it would have created this three-dimensional object. And that is the idea behind 3D printing or, as people call it, additive manufacturing because you're adding material layer by layer. And the nice part is that you're not going to waste much material, right? You're not going to cut out and throw things away. You're just going to add that you need what you need. Now, uh, right now, in the it has gotten to the point that people can buy printers, three-dimensional printers. And here is an example of a 3D printer. It's a MakerBot, uh, interesting printer, probably in the range of uh, two to three thousand dollars. Well, these printers typically are working with uh, plastic, you know, material that's you know maybe plastic filaments that are melted and put down layer by layer. So the object is defined by a computer file, you know, that describes the three-dimensional shape, and the printer simply lays it down one layer at a time and goes up and creates the three-dimensional object. The interesting thing is you can create tremendously complicated shapes out of this and if you just go to Google search and look for 3D printed objects you'll be amazed at all the kinds of things that this method can create. Now for the home market perhaps it's mostly like using plastic filaments and it's plastic based material but there are of course industrial three-dimensional printing where you can create um, objects using other material as well, other methods, maybe metallic particles that are melted using laser, things like that. So it gets to the point that you can create quite complicated things and you can create things that are really of great use. For instance, uh, General Electric has jet engine parts that they create using 3D printing. The whole cars have been prototyped and created using 3D printing. And of course, not to mention shapes that have much more complicated things inside them which were impossible to do in the past easily with that old method of removing material. You know, imagine removing material deep inside a you know, cavity. Well, it's kind of hard to do, right, in the old style. And uh, so in a way, uh, you can create very complex shapes. And I showed you the example with paper. And believe it or not, Economist magazine had an article where they talked about actually using paper to create. You know, there's a printer that uses paper to create objects. So there you have it. That's 3D printing. Thank you.